I want to ask a question because I think a lot of people will relate to this, and we've both been through it. Mm -hmm. When you get in a slump, mm. or you're complacent, or you're not freaking pushing like you know you should, mm -hmm. or you're just content. You got a good residual income, like we talk about with Medicare, sure, and sure, you're just sure. like, you know what, I don't have to do anything. How do you get? How did you get out of it? Mm -hmm. Because I've been in it too. Most sure. people never think that, but it happens to everybody, right? Mm -hmm. How do you get out of it? You gotta do something. So I, yeah. I was just funny. I was just talking to someone about this the other day. Okay. So I was explaining that I was in a slump, and it wasn't. It was a slump to where I just didn't want to do anything. I was just like, yeah. oh my god, I just want to just. I don't know. I don't want to. I don't want to pick up that dial. So what I did was I just went went, went and worked out, went to the gym. Um put one foot in front of the other and just did that because I knew I could do that. I knew that would take my mind off of it. And then it made yeah. it easier for me to go back and get on the phones again and, and do what I needed to That's do. Cool. So um, I think that it's um, not staying stagnant. Yes. Just you got to do something. Yes. So if you don't want to do that, maybe you don't need to do it right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But do something. And, and push yourself. Because yeah. when I was pushing, because when I was pushing myself, I got my juices going again and it exactly. made it a lot easier. Yeah, we back. all have that a little bit of a competitive desire mm -hmm. that we need to ignite every now and then, mm -hmm. you know? Uh, my wife and I talk about this a lot. I don't, we don't, other than going to church and spending a little bit of time with family, um, we don't love weekends and Sundays. Really? Because I get so freaking bored. Mm. I get so bored. And then I feel like I'm being lazier. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. it's tough for me to just, like, I can sit for like a couple hours and watch some TV or a show or billions or something, you know? <laughs> um, but to sit for like a whole day is like really tough. So we try to find stuff to do to keep us busy. You know, so I'm going to say something. So how right. many, this is the craziest thing. All A lot of the successful guys that I know watch billions. I've watched a couple episodes, but I think I need to watch a lot more now. You do. Because you guys are all on that show. Dude, it's good. <laughs> It's good. Everybody wants to be the ethical version of Bobby Axelrod. Okay. You know. Okay. Um, it's it just it gets my brain moving about business and thinking and like, I mean it's kind of crazy. I like a lot of like uh, cartel shows too, like Narcos. Mm -hmm. Like I love these kind of shows because I'm just like, okay, how could I do what they're doing ethically? Not mm -hmm. literally selling drugs, right? Not literally um, doing whatever whatever the terminology is for the stock market, right? Mm -hmm. But I just like seeing people operate in, 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 in a business setting and I'm watching and learning. Like, okay, how did he handle that? Ooh, would I have thought about asking that question there? Like that kind of stuff. Like, sure. like I love watching speakers on stage. Sure. Because, and, or even, even at church. Yeah. Like literally, a, 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 we had a, a guest pastor come in a week and a half ago at church, two Sundays ago, and he was really good. At telling stories, mm. and I'm like, I don't even know if he prepped any content, but he, he, but he kept me engaged, better than any pastor has in a long time, and I didn't even know who he was, and I also like a lot of people, I'm sitting there like, yeah, this is gonna be boring. I'm not like, that's not the main pastor. Oh, here we go. You know what I mean? Yeah. Unfortunately, but he kept my attention. Check this out. So we went to church this last Sunday. Okay. And guess what the message was? What's that? It was your message, and it was don't quit. Oh. This is, and this was one of the things that you said, and this was this is also something that I would say to new new agents out there: don't quit because if you yeah. keep going, you're gonna you're going to be able to provide an amazing life in this business, this business right here that's right. for your family and for your loved ones. That's but right. that's what the message is about, um, man. You're gonna if I try to give you a Bible verse on it right now, I, I'm, I'm gonna mess it up. Yeah. But it was don't quit. And um, how important is that message? Like, because we had we do the virtual conference. If you don't, if you don't quit, you can't fail. Yeah, uh, yeah. I remember you. I remember listening to it from you as well. Before I even, yeah. So what was it like about a couple years now? That's that's been one yeah, of your yeah, slogans. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, 20, 2020 and twenty twenty one. Because it's true, man. Like, um, mm -hmm. there's a lot of people that aren't as cool and talented as Ernest Mitchell. Oh man, stop okay? it! Stop it! That stop I'm gonna fill his head. I'm gonna make his head real big. Today. You're not feeling my head. <laughs> But, um, but they quit too soon. Yeah. Well, you know, if you don't quit, you're going to get smarter. You're going to, and, and you know, another thing is if you make a messed up appointment, guess what you do? You you analyze your appointment. So Correct. when you go back, you can, um, you know, say, okay, I, I'll do this better next time. That's right. On the next appointment. That's right. Um, but if you don't quit, you stay in it, you're going to constantly start separating and catching some of these other guys that are killing it. Yes. And that's, yeah, man. Boom. Yeah. Mike. Rich, how can they double their new business revenue in the next year? 
they're gonna have to attend on June 29th, right. our webinar together, That's because right. we're gonna teach them 13 principles and how to take their insurance agency to a whole nother level. Boom. And double in the next 12 months. Double. He's done it. You can do it too. Join us, okay? It's only 37 bucks right now. Join us, June 29th, five o'clock. Hit the link, register. We'll see you there. How do they, how do they, how do they, uh, how do they follow you? Like if they're like, dude, I like this Ernest dude. He's a cool guy. And he is. <laughs> um, they can, they can look up on Facebook. Yeah, so Facebook, uh, I do have an Instagram. I'm, you know, I'm not, I don't know. Super uh, active on Instagram? I'm not. Could they not. email you? Yeah, yeah. What's so, your email? Yeah, so you can email me at ernest at dearretirement.com okay. or ernest at mitchellbrokerage.com. Okay. Mm -hmm. Dear retirement, like like uh, D-E-A-R? Yeah, D-E-A-R. So and ernest is E-R-N-E-S-T. That's right. No yeah. A. I yeah. don't know. No. Does anybody ever spell it E A R N E S T? Yes. Yeah. So I still, it, I'll still get it because I have clients that were constantly spelling it E A R. Ah, so smart. I, I had to add that. Yeah. So E R N E S T. But it is E R N E S T. Yeah. Retirement.com. Mm -hmm. Boom. Okay. Uh, it was, last, last. Uh, what, what is there anything else you want to leave us with before we end the interview today? How good has this guy been, by the way? This has been good, man. You're better than you know on video and well, speaking. Well, I don't. Feel, I, don't I feel like I'm just trying to be myself. Shout out. So, but you know, it's it's. He's it's, obviously very humble too. <laughs> you're high energy, man, and and Thanks, and um, but but you, you know, you're the type of person that brings out the best in people. And Thank that, you. That's really cool. Appreciate that. Um, how would I end this? Um, you know, if if you want to be good in this business, you have to surround yourself with other people that are good. Mm. You really do. Um, it's um, so go surround yourself with this cat, okay? Seriously, you really do, and and it, it takes a team, yeah. you know. Um, and and that's why you know we're, we decided to go ahead and partner up with Secure nice, and, and your yeah. dad. That's awesome. Um, and um, you know we're just excited about what's what's happening in the future. So, dude, a lot of lot of bright things going on. Our 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 um, families are going to be you know working together for many years, and it's going to be a ton of fun. Um, mm -hmm. I've loved getting to sit we literally sat that first night at the bew mm -hmm. and and just talked. chopped it up yeah we just chopped it For up hours. and just talked and talked and, and drank camus and i loved it <laughs> that is it a wine that is an expensive wine that i'm only going to drink if you pay for it okay <laughs> I, I need to get you a bottle tonight then okay yeah it was awesome no man. it was awesome bro. reach out to this dude okay follow him tell him how amazing he did today okay because he hasn't done a lot of this but i'm telling you he's a special dude and so are you Hey, if you enjoyed this, I got another one you're gonna love. It's right there, click on it, see you in there. Well, I quote probably close to $2 million in trucking insurance every month. Yeah. Close to $2 million trucking a month, Just you're trucking. quoting. Yeah. Uh, granted, that's extremely high for anybody who knows trucking, which Gosh! don't start in trucking. Get your feet wet with the personal lines, and then when you're ready for trucking, you